morning, everyone. My name is Nakia, and today is January the 19th. It's so great that you're able to join me for today's verse of the day. There's no better way than to start the day than in God's Word. And my hope is to better equip each viewer to live authentically for God by expounding and applying Scripture to our lives. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell notification so you won't miss any new content that's released. Now, before we get started, let's pray to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, maker, sustainer, and creator of heaven and earth, Lord, we glorify your name. We exalt you today, and we magnify you in our lives. Father God, we don't come to you under pretense or, or, or any fake fakeness, Lord. We come to you real, and, 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 and Lord, we just come to you and, and earnestly seeking your face, Father God, because we know that we need your presence. We know we need your word. We know that we are only sustained by your presence in your word in our lives. And Lord, we thank you. We're excited to be able to read your word this morning and, and Lord, and hear from you. And that's what we ask, Lord, that you're in the name of Jesus, that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide us in your word, giving us our daily bread today, that we may meditate on it, that we may partake of it and apply it to our lives, that we may glorify you. Father God, help us. Help us where we're strong and help us where we're weak, Lord. Please continuously refine us in the fire, Lord, of our lives, that we may come out more and more, more look like you, Lord God. And we just thank you for the privilege of knowing you and being known by you. And Lord, and being able to be children of God. It's a privilege and it's an honor. We thank you and love you and praise you. And in Jesus' name, Lord God, we pray. Amen. Amen. So today's verse of the day is found in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet, and he will make me walk on my high heels to the chief musician with my string instruments. Okay, so I love, uh, this kind of echoes like a psalm to me, but I love the fact that this is clearly a, a, a worship psalm. <clears throat> it's part of a, a larger chapter, of course, um, and we're at the very tail end of um, chapter 3 and the book of this uh, minor prophet, Habakkuk, and I think it's incredible um, to note, I'm always excited when I, hear, when I see the Lord's name in all caps, because again, that signifies Yahweh the name of God, or Jehovah, the name of God. And um, as revealed to Moses in Exodus, I believe, chapter 3 and 6, I believe that that's the name of God, and um, even pick apart that, it's his name is incredible, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so we can um, really just know that we're talking about God Almighty himself. And God Almighty himself is said to be our strength. Look, if you've ever live long enough, you're going to experience problems. Being Christian does not protect you from experiencing problems that the world does. It, in fact, it might even bring a little bit more problems. And I thank God when I was saved, I was never under the uh, illusion, the false illusion of, of thinking that I was not going to experience problems. In fact, when I was saved, um, I was told your problem you just have just gotten started. Um, albeit I wasn't prepared for it, but I thank God that whether I was prepared for it or not, I, I, I didn't believe that just because I'm saved, I wasn't going to experience problems. But the great thing is that it helped me to focus, once I finally got myself together, focus on um, the person that's able to uh, give me strength through these things. And that's the major difference um, besides Jesus Christ, a major difference between Christians and non-Christians, that we all experience the same problems um, and similar, we're going to experience problems, but um, one team has God on their side and one team does not. Um, and I think that's a big thing. And God promises to give us strength and he does give us strength to endure and overcome each and every problem um, that we face. Jesus said he has overcome the world and that is our hope. That is the um, the rock that we stand on, um, that's our foundation. Excuse me. So the Lord God, God himself, is our strength. Now, the interesting thing here, when I was reading, I was, um, it says, he will make my feet like deer's feet. So I'm thinking, what is, huh? 
what is so special about deer's feet? But what I like about things like this in the Bible is that the writer often relates to things that they know about, that, um, that, that, that is a phenomenon. And when God created heaven and the earth and everything in them, he created it for a purpose. Everything that was created has a purpose, including animals. And so I looked up deer's feet, right? I'm like, what's so special about these things? Their their hoofs or hooves or whatever you want to call it, the bottom of their feet is an anatomical fascination. It's a wonder. So I, I don't particularly like deer myself, but it was really interesting to learn a little bit more about their, their hoofs, so to speak. Their, yeah, that stuff on their feet. Um, <laughs> it's interesting to know that um, the, their body structure, their feet... Um, prevents them from experiencing a lot of slips and falls. How it's designed is to basically help them to withstand um, lots of, of, of slips, lots of things that would cause us to slip and fall, right? It keeps them from stumbling, um, period, or frequently, or almost ever. And I think that's really interesting and in how their body structure is too. It, 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 uh, their, their legs have tremendous strength in them. Um, that also prevents these things. And I was thinking, wow, God is not only our strength, but he also gives us the stability and the ability to stand and to have feet like that of a deer to prevent us from slipping and falling. God does that. He gives us feet like deer. And I think that's the most incredible promise that we could have um, as, as Christ followers, that God keeps our foot from slipping. It doesn't say we're going to not experience uh, times of, of struggle to stay, you know, stable or stay still, but God prevents us from falling away as true followers of Christ. And I think that's a, a, a very beautiful picture, um, that he gives us feet like deer feet and he will make me walk on my high heels, hills. And I think a great thing about that is that hills are a lot of times referred as, uh, mountains. Um, but it's definitely not, it definitely depicts an elevated state of 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 land. Um, and when I, when I think about hills and when I think about mountains, I'm thinking about circumstances, situations, hardships. I'm thinking about um, just elevated times of emotional states or mental states or physical states or spiritual states that we as humans go in. And the fact that not only God is going to strengthen us, his children, through those times, that he's also going to give us um, stability. He's going to prevent us from slipping and falling like deer. And he's going to make us walk on those situations, those circumstances, those high hills, those hardships, those hills. And I think that's an incredible promise that he has given us. And I think that is our due diligence to trust him at all times. What God promises, he delivers always 100% of the time. And I think that's why we see his name in the beginning of this verse, Lord, because that's to signify that God is God. He is the promise maker and keeper, and thus he will do what he says he will do. Brothers and sisters, thank you for joining me again. I'll comment below. I'm really excited to hear what your thoughts were um, about today's verse of the day. If you got something different than I got, if you liked or disliked or did not agree with something, comment below. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say. Thank you again for joining me for another verse of the day, and I hope and pray you come back tomorrow for more. And until then, may God bless you. Have a beautiful and a wonderful day. Bye.